grammar day four. All right, so hopefully you've already corrected your sentence for today and put your vocabulary in your binder. Here I've done my vocabulary. My word today was rebuffing, driving away, rejecting. All right, so we've done vocabulary. Now we want to indent. Do we need to indent? Doesn't look like it. So we're no new line and no indent. The next thing is homophones. Mm, no homophones today. How about end marks? Oh, looks like we need an end mark. Let's read the sentence. Rather than rebuffing the little man, the soldier invited him to come warm himself by the fire. Remember, rebuffing means driving him away, telling him he has to leave. He didn't do that. Okay, now this seems like it's probably a sentence, a, a uh, <laughs> statement. <laughs> so we're going to use a period at the end. All right, now we're going to look for our nouns and articles. Rather than rebuffing the little man, the is one of our articles, and it is talking about the man, right? So man is our noun. Little is not a noun. It's a word that describes the noun. The soldier, whoop, that seems like another article and vowel team, the soldier invited him to come warm himself by the fire. Oh, another article and another noun. All right. Did you get all those corrections? Great. Let's write them in your notebook. No new line, no indentation. So I'll start on the line below where I was writing before. Rather than, oops, I have a funny pencil grip right now. I'm gonna change it to a better grip. Rather than rebuffing or turning away, rebuffing the little man, comma, the soldier, ooh, this is a tricky word, huh? I'm going to make sure I spell it just right, S-O-L-D-I-E-R. That one doesn't seem like it should sound look like that, but it does. The soldier invited him to come warm himself by the fire. I want to point out something. You might have noticed that I had a funny pencil grip when I first started. When I was about in third grade or second grade maybe, I decided I wanted to write like this. And that's how I learned to write. But it makes my hand really tired when I write that way. So I have been trying really hard the last several years to fix my pencil grip and hold my pencil like this because I can write longer when I hold my pencil like this and my handwriting looks better too. The pencil grip is a really important thing and we'll talk about that a lot more in handwriting but I just wanted to point that out because sometimes you might notice me holding my pencil like this and if I do, you're allowed to catch me and tell me, hey Mrs. Edwards, hold your pencil the right way and then I'll fix it. That'll help me remember to have a good pencil grip too. We're done with grammar for the week.